Hey, I'm Tim from Buried Acorn. I am Keith Carl Redhead from Woodland Farm Brewery in Marcy. And this is the show called Will It Ferment? So, what do we got? We we got a lot of good stuff. Okay, what is this? This is uh, plum brandy from my friends at Apple Country Spirits. Okay. They make killer stuff. I uh give me a bunch of that, man. Oh, you're going to love it. Aged a few beers in some of their barrels, and it's ridiculously good. Our anniversary, we have I put in some of their apple brandy barrels. Super good. Um, so, yeah. It's a sipper. This isn't like Malort. Don't tell me. Don't tell me how to live my life. Speaking of sippers, mm -hmm. what do we have here? Well, I took Livy shopping, as you guys saw, and uh, we made some real good alcohol. It's actually still <coughs> fermenting. Uh, mine too. I'm certain that there is some alcohol in it. We just threw it all in the pot and boiled it. Okay. I know you did yours a little different. Yeah. Um, you know, I really like to pay attention to flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to inspire people by um, offering flavors, you know, that sure. are complex. Yeah. Right. Like, this is red. Right. Yeah, it is a red one. It did come out a little fleshy pink, but um, we use all the red candy. Okay. Um, well, I, I, I would actually argue mine is more complex because it has all the colors of the rainbow and kind of came out brownish, purplish. I definitely. I got a question for you. Hold it up. Hold it up. Smile. Which one would you drink? Which which one looks more better? More better. Vote. Come on. Vote down there and then smack the like button. <laughs> hey, if you were Mike Tyson and you wanted to punch something, you'd be like, bam, bam. Bam, bam, on that like button, baby. Boom. You think Mike Tyson is gonna watch this? I hope so. That'd be sweet. Right, so we're gonna go viral. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's All drink. Right. Ooh, it smells a little sulfur, a little sulfur. Mm. Uh, mine's been fermenting for over a week now. Okay. I started it with some lager yeast, and uh, then I got nervous because the gravity was super high. So I pitched champagne yeast in to help bring it down a little bit i did something similar oh look yours is yours is still going yeah um, it's gonna be good so i did something very oh got some chunks oh this doesn't look really off oh so i did the same i got thing. all the chunks down there i added Check that the out. Uh, slurry from our uh cider um, when it was done or when it was right I, I put the slurry from our cider and then uh it didn't really do much so i added champagne yeast as well okay um there's not much nutrients in candy no no i don't think there's any actually no, i think it's just sugar probably not that's probably why they don't want you to eat a lot of it. But, but the yeast also who's yeast. they oh the fda yeah, i don't trust them the fbi can't FDA, trust the government all those guys um so these are likely still going i mean they're showing still signs of fermentation with the bubbles going um, I could see yours actually shedding yeah, it's CO2 still, right now. It's still moving. And actually, if you listen to it... You can hear the ocean. No, but you can hear bubbles popping. And when there's bubbles popping, it's likely still fermenting. That's an old trick I learned from a vintner. <laughs> Obviously, red candy. God, it smells candy, so freaking good. Green candy. This might be better than the cookie. Uh, this one is a very sulfur. Okay. Oh, well, so, I'm not going to um, drink that one. It, no, no, it, I mean, sulfur is... Uh, yeah, candy farts. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, let's measure it. So I measured these out at... Uh, oh, yeah, this one smells really good. Really good. I want that. Um, so I measured it out at uh, 20... I, I watered them down after I put, put it in there. I measured it out at 20 Play-Doh. Yeah, I did not dilute mine one bit. Yeah. But there's enough sugar in there to... we. I probably could have made like a five-gallon batch of that and okay. still gotten a good amount of alcohol. Okay. So... This one went from 20 to 5.9. It's still fermenting. Mm. I would wait, but um, I really want to get drunk. Yeah, I'm so, thirsty. Um, you can you can drink it. It's fine. It's a little sulfury. That sulfur will probably clean up after some time. Um, I'm gonna go right uh, right through and yeah, check them all. Right down the road here. Uh, and that sulfur thing. Um, it's natural for yeast to produce it. It ages out, but who wants to wait? You know? Not the uh, kids. So this one not as much. And when I poured it, it actually did look a little thicker. Um, and um, there's a floater in there that, I mean, candy doesn't float, dude. So like, I think that one didn't, this didn't ferment. Remember I said I watered it down to yeah, 20, yeah. well it's 26, so I must not have measured it properly. But it is not fermented. The purple candy did not ferment. Why do you think that is? Um, it may have been pH. Did you check pH on these? Um, yeah, they were all sub Mine was too low. What would you do to counteract that? Uh, baking soda why do you do that 
raises the pH a little bit. So the green candy does ferment. It looks like it's down about seven. Right. Um, so this one, you can tell just by looking at it, it's thick. There's a floater in there, which I think is mold. Um, so no, go on the purple. That's but it bad. smells the best. It does smell the best. It's probably because it's still actually candy. It's just straight candy. Yeah. All right, what do you got? Um, uh, I did not do Play-Doh because I'm a home brewer. What do we got? 8.5. So yours. Ooh. Okay, dad. Let's see where it's at here. Looks like 8.5 is where it's sticking. Some chunks in there. Ooh. Well, specific gravity was 1.194. Whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, who knows? Just Google it. All right, so yours fermented down. That's still up there. It's still up there, but it's moving still. So we're at 15 or so, 15. Okay, it's going in. You know why? It is still fermenting, and that's why it's, it's throwing it off. The bubbles. The CO2 is coming out yep. in solution in there. Yep, so yep. It's, it's fermented down. It looks like it stops right at like 17, but then when the bubbles start to come out of the solution, it brings it back down. There's no way to degas something that's already fermenting. So it's come down quite a bit. Well, I'm not trying the purple one. It smells great. There you go. Thank try you. The, try the red one. I really appreciate this. I'll try yours. Tell it. It's, uh, so if it said like, what, 26 or 27 it was, and it's down to like 15-ish. Yeah, it's fermented. there's alcohol. It does smell great, dude. Well, cheers. I love candy. It's still <laughs> sweet. It's definitely still sweet. <laughs> Thank you. God damn, that's really good. <laughs> now I know why all these breweries put candy in their beer. Right, right. Should we see if the kids want to try any? They're still here. Which one do you like the best? Uh, Pink. Pink. pink was the yeah. best. Yeah. The green was pretty solid. It was, didn't have much flavor though. Yeah, but well, that pink was the, definitely the best. Yeah. So I purple bet, is out, unfortunately. I could probably get my wife to drink that. Can I actually bring that home for her? Sure. Okay, thank you. you. Got a whole growler of it. Sweet. So when are these coming out, man? Is there a drop date for the cans? Yeah, we release this. Uh, this month. Well, by the time this is released, it'll be this month, February 29th. We're going to be having a sour beer tasting with all these candies right, um, right here at, at Buried Acorn. So come down, hang out with us. Come down to Kick Flip Sour Fest. Mm, gonna have some of these for tasting on February 27th. Yep, limited cans, uh, one can per person. Right, and um, you better be first in line. <laughs> yeah, get in line now, you honestly. Be first in line, man, yeah. I'm telling you. Sell, sell all your GameStop stocks and oh, buy some beer. Oh, try and ferment GameStop stocks. All right, I'm, I'll sell mine and I'll bring them in. Okay, cool. We can ferment them. Cool. that would be awesome. Um, we got some suggestions. From yeah, there's guys. a lot of good ones. We, read we, we do read your comments. We try to respond to as many as possible, but there's just too many. So. Viral and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who said we're going to do V8 juice? I think it was Chris Rahashashazer, actually. Oh, well, guess what? Our good I friend. I don't have V8 juice, but go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. We do have a two-year-old. It's a vintage uh, bottle of Bloody Mary mix from a failed brunch that we booked here and no one showed up. Is that Mr. and Mrs. T? Mr. They, and Mrs. Yeah. Yeah, they they are so good. So inclusive. They're great you people. Know, Mr. and Mrs. They're really good at um, making Bloody Mary mix. Now, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's let's, let's add something to this and make it ferment, dude. Yeah, let's do something. You got any yeast lying around? Uh, let's add some of the. Uh, you know what, dude? Let's add some of this to it. Okay. And then we'll they'll all ferment. Um, I mean, honestly, because we've been drinking all these, they all have active yeast in it. You could probably just spit in there and be fine. Dude, look at this thing ferment. Holy shit. <coughs> oh, we should make gummies out of this. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, all right. actually. All right. Why doesn't anybody make alcoholic gummies? Will it ferment gummies? This is active, Still illegal active, in your active state. fermentation here. Um, I'm just gonna pop that in there a little. No, that should do it. That we didn't even measure it. anything. Uh, <laughs> I'll shake it up and measure it. That's fine. Um, so, uh, like I said, that contains yeast in there. Yes. From the previous fermentation there. Bang, 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 bang. All right, let's give it a give it a pH reading here. See where it's at. Ooh, it smells like red candy and tomatoes. Um, so uh, we've got bang a pH of. Oh, she good. Oh, she good. Four point. One, so we're safe to drink it now. Mm, that's good, even though it's been two years. Yeah, it's probably it's expired. Safe. They lie. Totally safe, Bob. Yeah. All right, so 4.0. Tomatoes are pretty. Oh, we're sick. supposed to add vodka to this. So get a little gravity reading here. Look at all that gravity. That's a lot. Looks like it's going to be right around end point. 11.4. 11 11.4. 11 okay. 11.4 so what? 
gravities? 11.4. What's the Play-Doh. unit? Okay. Play Doh. Yes. Um, so, Play Doh 11.4. We'll see what pH happens. pH is good. pH is low. Yep. Um, I'm letter rock. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, what next? What other suggestions we got? Uh, some people had suggested rice. And if they didn't suggest it, they should have. Oh, my goodness. Because that's a great good. idea. I'm so hungry for like some four cheese farro or something. Are you serious? Because I stopped at the convenience store on the way here, and they had expensive rice. Ooh. Let's Let me get it for you. I gotta go to my car. I'm back. Oh, that was fast. Four cheese. Oh. Um. So what's <laughs> unique about this is cheese is already fermented. But does it contain alcohol? No, they cook it out first because right, they can't sell it to kids. Right. Like grilled, grilled yeah, cheese. You can't have a grilled cheese and get drunk right, off that. Right. That'd be terrible. Um, so let's do this. Let's do you think we could ferment grilled cheese? Uh, let's take a... Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. Let's take a five-minute commercial break um, and we'll cook some rice, okay? Yeah. Okay. And now and then we'll a word from our sponsors. So we can- Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the commercials. It was one of my favorite commercials. Oh my God. It's like... You know what the Super Bowl when they just had really good commercials? Yes, it's the best. Man, that makes me want to buy a Lexus. I was thinking Doritos. So what do we got here? We got some four cheese rice. We have uh, some yeast, apparently. Uh, something called nuruk. It is traditionally used to make makoli. And broccoli? Uh, Did you say broccoli? The makoli. Makoli. It's uh. So we're gonna make some four cheese makoli right now. Oh, look at that. Wow. Mmm. How much noodles did I put in there? All of it. Did you read the directions, dude? Yeah. Dude. Cooking instructions. This isn't a saucepan. How much noodles did I put in there? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Making me nervous. Damn. All right. Ooh, this one's good. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. Why don't we just wait, add yeast, or not add yeast, or no? You know what we probably should do is... Oh, well, no, there's some enzymes on that, it's right? Sti- it still smells like candy. I smell that cherry candy coming out. There's got to be enzymes on that broccoli. What'd you call it? Nunuk? Nunuk. Nunuk, right? Should be enzymes on that? Yeah, okay. good. Yeah. Sweet. And now we wait. Today's episode... Is brought to you... By... This list of sponsors. Check them out. And so, uh, yeah, we, we have to exit. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Eat Local NY on YouTube, Instagram. Follow us at Buried Acorn Woodland Farm. Here. And we'll see you at Kickflip Sourfest February 29th. Will it? This is the 27th. <laughs> no, the 29th. On the 29th. I put it on your calendar.